we are presenting you a short video of connecting IBM Planning Analytics to Microsoft Power BI. Let's follow some very simple steps here. We have a very simple view here with all the dimensions in rows. Step 2 you need to turn your SSL to false in your TM1 CFG file. Now let's start to create a Power BI query. Query ready here. We'll just make few changes here as we are running on local. We'll just add our HTTP port number, we'll add our cube, our view name, and our ID and password. We have our query ready here. We'll just go to Power BI and we'll get data and enter in blank query and we'll just paste our query here. We can paste your query here. Now we can see our cube data has been imported here. We will double click on it and we'll go to cells. This is our JSON file which has been imported from TM1. So we have our cells here. We'll convert this to table. So now we just need our formatted values. So we'll unselect all. We take formatted values here. We can see our data here. Now we can just add an index here starting from zero. Here we go. We can rename our columns here. We can confirm our values from our cube. Next step is to bring all the dimensions to Power BI. Create a duplicate query here. We can see the same query has been appeared here. Now just we need to delete all the steps in this duplicate query so that we get back to our JSON file. Click on access. Second one then plus we need to convert this to table. Need to select this, select this, then okay. So we will be adding some custom columns here. Add custom column. We'll enter C1 here. We'll just add a formula. A formula is list dot first, and then we will select the column. Okay. We can see our measure dimension is appeared now. Select OK. You can see the value here. We'll add few more columns, all the dimensions we need to add. For the second column, we will be using two formulas. First is the same which we used in the first column, list first and we'll also add list skip as we need to skip one column here now we will just copy the formula for rest of the columns we can see now one more dimension has been imported from tm1 let's add the next one we will name it as c3 and we'll just paste the formula just change this number to 2 as you need to skip 2 columns now and the same process for the final dimension We can now cross check from our cube. Now on to the next step. We will merge both the queries that we have created. Let us add index here as well. We 
we will go to merge and then select the second query here both the index need to be matched by a left outer joint we will select okay now select only the columns that are needed in this case only the four dimensions now we can remove the index we will be renaming all the columns now as per our dimension names now we can just select close and apply here this will redirect us to power bi the data has been arranged now we just need to convert this string elements to numbers now the final step is we need to create a dashboard we can select any visuals we want so let's add a filter here so we can differentiate between actuals and budgets okay so similarly we can add a data table here by selecting all the dimensions which are present in our cube Yes, so these are the basic few steps to get our data from TM1 to Power BI. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned for next video.